What do we have for the collective here, Holy Spirit? What do they need to know right now? Bottom of the deck is that honeymoon energy. You see that airplane? <laughs> Somebody might be going on a vacation somewhere. You could be a Gemini, you could be a Libra, or you could be an Aquarius here. I'm seeing air sign energy at the bottom of the deck. And then we have challenges. There could be a difficult decision here. Or you might be feeling like you need a vacation. You're experiencing a lot of challenges here. Let's see. Patience. Communication. Somebody wants to talk with you. So you got some incoming communication. This could be a text message, a phone call. This could be somebody wanting your forgiveness. Mm, and look at what came out. Vacation. I just can't be making this stuff up. Air sign is back at the bottom of the deck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody wants to talk to you. This is somebody you know. What's this commu communication about? What does this person want to communicate? Give it time. They want something to grow here. Honeymoon is back on the bottom of the deck. This person may live at a distance from you or you may be traveling towards them or somewhere where they are or they may want to take a vacation with you. There could be physical distance between you and this person. You could live in a different city, a different state, um, whatever, right? Give it time, everything. So this is telling me divine timing. This person has been holding back on communicating with you. Mm -hmm. and they can't hold back anymore. This is somebody, excuse me, this is somebody you were with collective who caused some challenges. This wasn't the easiest person to deal with. Show me more about this communication. What does this person want to communicate? Now this person wants to compromise. Now this person wants to talk to you. Fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be a fire sign or fire sign has something to do with this. Whoever this fire sign is, Caution. Find out more information. Don't overwork yourself. Show me this fire sign energy. Who is this? Okay. Narcissist. So you got a fire sign here who is mm, full of themselves. They think the world revolves around them. This is somebody here who thinks that they look good. Male or female. They think they're very attractive. They may get a lot of attention. Definitely Queen of Wands in reverse energy. King of Wands in reverse energy here. Mm. They could be a male or female. Doesn't matter. Spy energy on the bottom of the deck. This kind of reminds me of... Was that Scorpio? Go check out Scorpio's reading if you have any Scorpio placements. Show me more here about this um, air sign. Let's, let's dig into this air sign. Ooh, it's too many. Show me about this air sign, Holy Spirit. Hmm. This is some Seven of Swords energy. What is this? Okay. Somebody here is married for money. Or chose somebody else over money. We have marriage, couple, codependency, then we have robbery, exploitation, unfairness, and then we have gain. So somebody did something for gain. This person could have went somewhere else collective. This could be that narcissistic energy that wants to come back towards you. They may have chosen to be with somebody for money, material things, whatever they can get out of the situation that would benefit them. I mean, this is really giving classic narcissistic energy. Mm -hmm. Show me more here about this narcissist. Thank you. We have real estate. This person could work in real estate and withdraw. Oh man, somebody gonna have a drug addiction. If this if it's not a drug addiction, you guys, this person like I, I'm just getting drug addiction. I, I I don't know why I'm heavily getting drug addiction. Somebody might have be a pill popper. I don't, I don't even know why I'm feeling that. But someone here could be a realtor. Someone here could have purchased a home, lived with... Somebody has a family or went to be with somebody else to purchase a home with this person. Somebody here either is a alcoholic or they depend... They have some form of codependency to some form of, of substance. Show me more here about this withdrawal energy. 
Yeah, whatever this withdrawal is, it takes over. Yeah, indulgence. I can't make it up. Indulgence. Drinking could be an issue, okay? Or this could be something that this person is doing with their, the people that they hang out with. They could be hanging out with the wrong crowd. Whenever this person drinks, they get crazy as hell. They may have anger problems, conflict, um, disturbance. There could be a fight. It's like this person turns into like the Incredible Hulk when they when they get on this substance. They get very irritated. Mm. <sighs> okay, so show me this marriage um, energy. What's this marriage energy? My allergies are bothering me. Self-love and idea so this is like the ace of wands energy show me more here about this um energy with um self-love and marriage merit making what is this eternal this might be something new I feel like you guys are in some new energy here we have eternal love adventure merit making idea and self-love after being on like this long difficult journey y'all are just moving on you've been loving on yourselves you've been doing good you may have started a new job some of you guys could work from home um but it's just like you are just taking care of your better care of yourself here then we have this merit merit making you're someone here who i feel feel like does things to help other people or you're very kind or nurturing queen of cups energy king of cups energy whatever you do serves other people or that could just be the energy that you're in you're born for service to others so that could be like in your chart right eternal love but i feel like here you have you're about to meet somebody that you're going to be married to like your forever partner somebody you're going to grow old with you see this in the marriage card this person these people are young but in the eternal love these these people are old okay so there's somebody coming in here who like i feel like you're gonna have a new beginning with with this adventure energy this is giving me like you're looking out on the horizon figuring out what you want to do you know you want to venture off somewhere new you're willing to be in this fool energy take a risk aries energy libra energy here with this marriage and adventure Ace of Wands, Divine Feminine Energy. Um, okay, show me this idea for the collective. What's this idea? There's somebody in your energy who... <sighs> what is going on here? Somebody here is going through a... Uh, tower moment somebody's going through a tower moment there's a connection here I feel like this is not you collective I feel like somebody else that you're not dealing with maybe you know this person and you are dealing with them but whatever the level is whoever this person is there's somebody in your energy who is concerned about a home we did see real estate energy this could have been the person that they were attached to I feel like your person is attached here to somebody else they're going through some money problems they're dealing with a bully And whoever this person is that they're with, they're not speaking to this person. They're not getting along. They don't communicate. They're in the same household, but the two of these people don't even talk. You see these people in the bed. Both of these people are on the phone, not paying any, each other any attention. Somebody's in the same house with somebody, but they feel alone. And they're also going through some form of money issues and they may even be homeless. Somebody is get gotten it got him. Someone here is embarrassed. Who are these people? What's this bully energy? This embarrassment energy? What's this about? Why is this person embarrassed or feeling getting bullied? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some sort of bad news. Somebody could have lost something here. What's this bully energy or this? Okay, perseverance. Okay. 
I feel like there are people involved in the situation, like more than one person here. I do. I feel like let's pull some tarot because it's a lot going on here. You got um, a fire sign in your energy, an air sign in your energy who wants to communicate with you. They were narcissists. Um, I feel like they may have married for money or for, or married or they're with somebody because of what they could gain from them. Also to this person that is with somebody else for what they could gain or what they were getting. Um, it could be a Libra. I just saw the three of swords. The Ace of Cups just fell on the floor. Um, I feel like whatever situation that this person is in collective, it's, it's tumultuous. Like, they're not talking to this person that they're with. You're busy moving on doing your own thing. You probably have new love coming in here because you chose yourself, collective. You have some good news coming in. You're about to receive some good news. But I feel like somebody else is not about to receive good news. They may be losing a house. Money is not looking good. The Magician and the Death card. Gemini and Scorpio energy. What's going on with this, Holy Spirit? You just changed. <clears throat> Uh-oh. I feel like this is your energy. The Magician, the Death and Rebirth card, and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you changed. Yeah. Judgment energy, Scorpio. Scorpio, Gemini, you could be a Cancer or Pisces. You can be really any sign here. But the point is, is I feel like you are moving on in this new uh, full energy. Ready to take a risk towards your future and just do something different, right? And, and you're okay with that. You've overcome something, right? You overcame some obstacles. That's what that obstacle energy was earlier. You ended something with a person from the past. The obstacle was a lie, right? You Since this has occurred, you've changed. You've grown. You're not the same person anymore. This is transformation energy. You did this work. Okay, you did this work with this magician card. You did the inner work. Okay, and because you did the inner work, you're about to get this good news. And now you're about to go on this new beginning and venture out and be in this full energy. And whatever this is that you're getting is nine of cups energy. It's an emotional fulfillment. It's something that you've always wanted because you did the work on yourself. Three of pentacles. You did the work. Three of pentacles is about you being an aristocrat, right? Whatever it is that you do, you choose to want to do it well. You want to be a, be a better person, the bigger person. This was you. Yeah. Show me more here. But somebody else, their energy, not so much. This other person is struggling. I'm not sure why we're talking about them other than the fact that this person wants to communicate with you and spirit is trying to warn you that this person is a user. They're a narcissist. What do we have here for the collective? Yeah. I'm telling you, you could have an Aquarius. We did see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy out here. The Eight of Wands is about action. It's about fast, quick movement and communication. But I, I, I don't want to make this about this other person. We have the Magician. We have the Death and Rebirth card and the Star. It's like you are reborn. You went through transformation. You did the work and you are totally getting this God dang on wish fulfillment. Whatever you hope for, whatever you prayed for, this is it. This is yours. You did it. I don't feel like nobody else is coming in quick and fast. It's, you know, eight of wands is like eight days, eight weeks at the most. It's coming in. You're about to hear about this really, really soon. Ten of cups on the bottom of the deck. Did I not say you serve other people? Whatever you're, you're meant to do here on this planet in your house is all about serving other people. You enhance the lives of other people. You, oh, look at this. Didn't we talk about earlier? Remember earlier? Okay, Ten of Cups, Two of Cups. Underneath that, we talked about this earlier. You might be getting ready to meet a partner. Self-love energy and that Ace of Wands energy. Didn't I say I saw something that was giving me Ace of Wands? Um, Ten of Cups. Two of Cups is a partnership, right? But also could be love. Remember we said marriage is coming in for you? Empress. Hello. And Temperance. 
your energy is so good this is so, this is like your energy mixed in with a person from the past that you're getting ready to hear from whose spirit is saying don't believe everything they say get the backstory or do some research or trust your intuition because there's red flags here. This person is still showing up as a narcissist with the caution and the narcissistic energy. They may even want to be coming in towards you because they missed the intimacy. Um, <sighs> narcissists really are have trouble with intimacy. Okay. So if they're coming towards you, it's not for intimacy, I don't feel like. Because they have a difficult time do, dealing with intimacy. But you have something so good and beautiful coming in. You're not the same person. So even when this past person from the past comes back, you're going to be like, whoa, I don't even want you anymore. What was I thinking from the beginning? Like, when you see this person, you're legit going to be like, dang, I've grown so much. Who are you? Who was I then? Thank God for growth. I want to get you an African Goddess Rising card. I, this is my new deck. I, I love this deck so much. Let's see what your spirit guides want you to know. I'm not going to drag this out tonight, you guys. If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Make sure you have your notification bell set to all so you know when I upload new videos. All right. If you need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Hit the like button on your way out. What What's the energy here for my collective? Who went? Okay. Let's see. Ooh, this is beautiful. I don't even know if I'm going to say this right. Uh, Kosasna? Kos, uh, Kosasna? I, I'm assuming the N is silent or the K is silent. I don't know. But look how vibrant this person looks. They are high vibing. This is the vibration of someone who is in alignment and they are in this self-love energy. Look at this. This is you loving on yourself. You you this is you. And this this is this energy. Anywho, I love it. The number 41 could be significant for you. Celestial alignment. Celestial alignment. Let me see. 41. We're going to read that real quick. Uh, this is the high priestess. Water. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. It says uh, in Kusana is the healer of healers and the teacher of teachers whose love for humanity makes the world makes the corn grow. She dwells in the foamy waters, but is known as the heavenly princess. As above, so below is the celestial alignment. As above, so below, this is you. This is you. Having the power to change tr alchemy. The, the power to change and, and just transform. Okay, anyway, I just get excited. It says your nat natural path is to be in alignment with your own divinity. No one can take from you what they didn't give you. Hmm. It says, how do you want to feel? You think often about uh, what you want. But your goddess energy speaks to us in feelings, okay? Celestial alignment is being in sync with the energetic feel of the frequency of the sacred. Everything that you desire in that frequency, match it with your feeling. That is the energy of God and goddesses. I am always being guided in the right direction is your affirmation or declaration. Beautiful energy. That's some bomb energy. Y'all are a god or a goddess. Like, look at this. This is just so beautiful. Like, you're a healer. Whatever you do on this planet is going to make this world and this planet and the, and the universe a better place. So, see y'all later. I love you. Mean it.